Hi. In this video, I'll go over how to find descriptive statistics on one variable from a frequency distribution. The first thing you'll notice is that the data appears as if it's in two columns. But there really is just one variable. It's the shoe size of some students, ranging from 6 to 10. Notice that there are 28 students' shoe sizes listed here, but they're already summarized in a frequency table. So, here's what we do. Realizing that some shoe sizes occur much more than others, we can't count them all equally. We must keep each data value paired up with its frequency of occurrence, without having to go to the trouble to write them all down again. So, over to the calculator, to Stat, and under Edit. In List 1, we'll put the shoe sizes. 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And in List 2, we'll put the frequencies. There were 4 students with a shoe size of 6. There were 12 students with a shoe size of 7. And so on. Okay, once the data are entered, and we want to calculate descriptive statistics, it makes sense that we would go to STAT, Calculate. And when we press one variable statistics, we'll quickly find out if we're in math print mode or in classic mode. Seeing that this calculator is in math print mode, I'll scroll down and make some notes for you. If we're in math print mode, a menu appears. For the list, we simply put where the data values are. That's list 1, the shoe sizes. The frequency list is L2. So second L2. Second number 2 for L2. And then simply go to calculate. And the calculator gives the descriptive statistics, taking into account that some shoe sizes occurred more often than others. Let's change the mode back to classic mode to see what looks different for those whose calculators are set in classic mode. So under mode, I'm simply turning off the stat wizards and setting math print back to classic mode. Some calculators don't even have this option. They're all in classic mode. So we'll do this again. Going to stat, calculate, one variable statistics. This time we have to be very careful to link each data value with its frequency. The way that we do that is we type second number one for L1, the comma, which is located above the 7, and second number 2 for L2. Again, the comma is what's going to link the data value to its frequency of occurrence. Press Enter, and here are our descriptive statistics taking into account that some shoe sizes occurred more often than others. I hope this has been helpful. This concludes this video.